All right. Pizza sauce. Um, alrighty. So come over to here. Get this. Um, right. You're gonna want uh, uh, a bowl to mix in that you can also close and put in the freezer. It'll have to hold the same uh, portion of. Uh, let me go get it. Uh, can. Alright, you want a can of tomato paste. You're going to want at least, let's say, a volume of three times this of a container. You know, so like a close to a one liter, let's say, um, container. Uh, just so you have the ability to mix and everything. Uh, can opener. Alrighty. Um, you're going to want a little spoon, uh, do some scraping and mixing and whatnot. You're also going to want a big spoon, a really big spoon, not just a regular, unless you know, that's all you have is a regular one. Alright, uh, you'll want a container. I got a reusable one here. Alright, and I know it goes in the freezer, it's a nice green safe one. My neighbor was nice enough to uh, give me some of her containers. Alright, so we're going to start with one can. And this isn't the smallest can. These are 396 or 369, um, 13 uh, fluid ounces. Anyway, I'll use this one for now. I'm going to pop that out. Wipe. So it's bigger than the one liter. Okay, a half a can of water for now. Okay, so you're going to want a half a can of water. Here comes why the other spoon is so handy. Get the inside of the one here. Sides. Make sure to clean as much as I can of that tomato paste off. Alright, and get the corners in the bottom here. And here. Okay. Here. Now, get yourself a. Uh, put this away. Grab yourself a measuring teaspoon and a measuring tablespoon. Might as well take both out now, you'll need them both. All right, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself uh, two, two uh, um, tablespoons here of flour. And you're gonna put that in your half a can of water that you've already cleaned out your 
a little messy. So you're gonna put in two of those. All right. Okay, now you wanna mix this up thoroughly. Get all the clumps. This is why I like the big, big spoon. all the lumps right up against. Alright. Now, if you ever noticed pizza sauce is uh, not as uh, red colored as, uh, as, as uh, tomato paste is, but the majority is tomato paste. The reason is, is because it uh, to my knowledge, it's going to be the flour and the white ingredients that you're going to put in there. We'll pale it up a bit. All right, so we got a pretty nice clean can. All right, cat's playing behind me. All right, so there's a half a can of water right there with the, the flour in it. All right, just set this here for now. Okay. Now you can start to mix it, don't mix too fast, and you're going to notice that uh, it's going to start to go a little, no, I say sludgy, but that's what you're looking for. Alright, once you've got enough mixed up, you can start to give it a little faster, Oop, a little out of the bowl there. Now it's looking more like you know, that little oranginess that you would associate with a pizza sauce. Still not fully mixed here. Alright. Just enough for now. Alright. There you go. Now we're going to go in for some uh, flavoring. Um, you're going to want your tablespoon again. Um, it just had flour, so just essentially dust her off. You will want one tablespoon of sugar. Put yourself in one of these. All right. All right. And then you're also going to want yourself Clean it off good. A tablespoon of garlic powder. Alrighty. Alright. Get yourself a tablespoon of garlic powder. There we go. Get yourself a tablespoon of parsley. Parsley. Go ahead and use fresh ingredients if you want. I prefer uh, they don't go bad. Um, alrighty. Uh, you can give that a quick little mix up if you want there. Just a quick, you don't have to get it too thorough right now. Alright. <clears throat> now you're going to want teaspoon and you're going to want a teaspoon or I should say two teaspoons of salt all right I'm going to put in two teaspoons of salt all right one if you like it a little more salty uh, after you've tried it go ahead and have more I couldn't care less um, all right all right you're going to want one teaspoon of pepper, black pepper that is, unless you prefer white pepper I guess. Okay, pepper, you're going to also want a teaspoon of oregano. Now, I have different kinds. 
Uh, oregano. See, I mean, I like spicy, but I got hot and spicy. And I'm just about, I've just got a teaspoon left anyways. So I'm going to put it all in. Alright. So that's oregano. Go ahead and put the regular oregano if you want in. Alright, there's your oregano in there. Now, I want some soy sauce. Alright. Okay. And just one teaspoon of that if you want to measure it. Oh, making a mess. See, there's the blooper reel again. Oh, made a four drops here and ooh, about seven, eight drops on the floor. Not a good thing. Oh, have that. A little wipe up. Usually I use that right over a, uh, get a little rag for the ground. All right, nice and clean there. Oh, I've got two drops on my sock too. Okay. Use this rag here. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, so now we got the little bit of soya sauce put in here too. I'm not gonna notice it barely do anything to the color. Anyway, once you get her mixed up nicely, you can add yourself about another half a can. Just make it, when I say half a can, I also mean uh, half a can to the level of tomato paste, not to the rim of the can. So, you know, because some cans you can buy and they can be at a little slightly different heights. So it can be different volumes of tomato paste in there. So anyways, uh, all right. Now I just give that a little more of a whip from under. Now, before you start really, it'll seem a little thin. But once you start mixing it, you make sure you get all the lumps in there. She'll get in to a nice sauce. Now, you want it, you don't want it too thick of a sauce. Because the flour, once it starts cooking, is going to thicken by itself and the sauce will, to say, set in place so you won't get a loose, runny sauce under your pizza, uh, which can be a big mistake for a lot of people. Anyways, you've got a lot of flavor in here. Um, oregano and garlic are pretty much your two really big key, and uh, some a sweetener. I uh, add a few other things myself just because I like. Uh, company of garlic with parsley or parsley with garlic anyways okay so this is good now you put this in the freezer or the fridge overnight but uh, if you're going to use it not use it for a while just put it in the freezer and um, this is enough to do uh, roughly two two uh, uh, extra large pizzas which is a uh, the same dough videos that I made there. I make two doughs there. Now uh, you can make them saucier and you can make the doughs uh, smaller and you can, uh, you know, and make a, just a large pizza with extra sauce. But um, this here will do anyways, two extra large pizzas. Um, I'm up to right about here where my, uh, I guess, uh, uh, what's that, uh, cholesterol there. That's about the line I am with this. You can see um, it's, it's not like runny, runny, runny. Uh, you know, it's got some thickness to it. Uh, thinner, uh, thinner than peanut butter, uh, or I could say uh, not as runny as warm peanut butter. But anyways, that's it. Make sure you get all the corners in nice and, 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 and all mixed in evenly. And take it out a day before you're gonna make your pizza or uh, you know, throw it in the fridge or you know three four hours before you're going to make it that day uh, when you take out the dough at the same time uh, but when you want to take this out it should be should be fine as long as you don't get too high of a container or you're making double batches and you might need a you know if you make a, if you were to rim this or something you might need more time than that if you're going to say make four pizzas 
but um, it always sit, tastes better uh, if you let it sit for for at least 24 hours there and get to let all the flavors themselves get through there. But uh, that's a that's a simple a simple simple uh, sauce uh, simple pizza sauce. Uh, I don't think that was complicated. Uh, again, then I'm going to be making. A, I already made the video for the pizza dough, and this will be a the video I'm going to make for the sauce, and I'll still be making one video to make the pizza itself. Um, but uh, hope that wasn't confusing for anybody. Uh, hope you enjoy it. All right.